channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Back in the golden era days of YouTube, when you were little, a time where you didn't know how to create a YouTube account so you never locked in the site. You would watch a YouTube video on your dad's phone or your mom's phone from creators like Fluffy Talks, Kev Jemba, Niga Higa, Ray William Johnson, especially back when he did Equals 3, Travi Williams, Phil DeFranco, and of course, Smosh. And that's how good YouTube was back then when you could broadcast yourself. Long before YouTube really became mainstream, which began in 2015. Well, the situation is that Entity Padilla and Ian Hickox brought Smosh back. Here reads, Anthony Padilla has returned to Smosh and he and Smosh co-founder Ian Hickox have teamed up to buy back the YouTube company brand that they launched 18 years ago. Wow. I can't fucking believe it's been this long, to be honest. The two have reunited as on-screen comedy partners and off-screen business associates to acquire a majority stake in Smosh from Mythical Entertainment, the production company of YouTube talk show stars Red and Link. Padilla and Hickox have not appeared together in videos or in public since videos citing his laws of creative inspiration left Smosh in 2017 and branched out on his own. He cocked remains of Smosh and shepherded the business through the collapse of then parent company Divide Media and Smosh's subsequent acquisition in 2019 revitalization under Red Link's mythical And I just gotta say, back then when I heard about Divine Media on November 7, 2018, I was shocked about this because Divine Media shut down abruptly. Later in 2019, I watched a video from Madpad of the Game Theorist, and I was curious about what Divine Media had done after this, because if you're running a fucking multi-channel network, the only thing you shouldn't do is to steal the creator's money. And it ain't just Mosh's money the fight media stole it from, by the way. But that in and of itself is a story of another time. Right now, it's about Smosh. By the time Anthony left Smosh, our friendship was not really that good, said he talks. A year ago, the two of them reconnected and really, really hit it off, he said. He Cox added, it's kind of freaky how well this has all fallen into place. Our friendship had to end to be able to come back together. And that was the thing I mainly loved about Smosh at the time. Ian and Anthony making people laugh together. And I do miss that side of Smosh. Padilla addressing the rift in their communication style was kind of, what's kind of stuck in that age of 17. When we reconnected, we had both done a lot of growing. On a win one day, Hecox turned to Pidia and said, What if we brought Smosh? They got excited about getting back together, and now they're returning to writing, directing, and starring in comedy sketches on the main Smosh channel. The first collab in more than six years would hit Smosh's main channel on June 30th. 
and they plan to release a new comedy video every two weeks. I really want to return to our roots, and part of that is owning the company so we can take Smosh in a creative direction, Padilla said. In terms of Padilla and Ecox's buyout of Smosh from Mythical, aren't being disclosed according to Mythical Entertainment. The company realized a significant multiple of its original invested capital in Smosh and it will retain a minority stake in the company outfit. Pity and Cox tapped creator capital provider Breeze Financial to finance the acquisition. The Smosh co-founders first became friends in sixth grade in the suburbs of Sacramento and became po- and began posting videos in 2015 under the Smosh label. We created Smosh as just a way to make each other laugh, Hecox said. It turned into business, which we never planned to have happened. Date, Smosh and its related channels have amassed more than 75 million followers across platforms. Like the Smosh guys, Fred McLaughlin and Neil Link. Link Neo are also best friends. Oh, best childhood friends. Alien from North Carolina and our OG YouTubers having launched their first YouTube channel in 2006. The spirit of buying Smosh is sort of mirrored in the spirit of selling Smosh, said Nick Laughlin. Neither of these opportunities was something we were actively purchasing, he added. We only secretly hoped that they would get back together. We have a spot spot for internet duos. So do I. That's why I've been wanting for this day to happen in the future, and it's finally here. Neil said, I feel like the four years we've had with Smosh under our wing and literally under our roof was in preparation of this. Their fans always, always wanted to see them get back together, but we weren't as the owners of Smosh going to push that. As minority shareholders, Fred and Link will be main involved with Smosh as an advisor in a in an advisory capacity. Just seeing them talk to one another and get excited about working together, we want to continue to be involved, Nick Laughlin said. The fact that their fans are going to be so excited I don't know what would be the case if there weren't creators on both sides of this. We see them starting to level up. Ecom said it was a terrifying moment for me to propose the Smosh buyout to Red Link, but that in the end they were very receptive to the idea. The deal giving Hecox and Padilla a, tr- a controlling interest in Smosh was important to show that we really believe in this. We're all it. It's not just like Anthony is back for a few videos. After exiting Smosh, Padilla found success with YouTube interview series I Spend a Day With, produced by his company Press Electric Hush Productions which recently won a Webby Award for Social Interview Show. Alessandria Cantonese, press like C, O-O, and executive producer is stepping down as C, is stepping in as CEO of Smosh. With the new owner structure, Daniel Tippetts, who has served as Smosh's CEO and EVO, Joe Rubin are exiting the company. In a statement, Tibbet said the creator company 
is about individuals having the power to build a lasting brand, which creative and business acumen are driven to are driven from the creators themselves. I am thrilled to see Ian and Anthony take back control of the brand they created 18 years ago. So honestly, it's good to see that Shane, Tom, and Dean has, who I happen to know from watching so random, will be staying, which is a good sign. Padilla and Hecox are rebooting Smosh's main channel with their own sketches, but will we maintain the same content formats and release cycles for Smosh Games and Smosh Pit? The duo will launch subscription-based memberships on the main YouTube channel that will offer bonus content live stream watch parties and or perks. I never really participated in a watch party all the time so that could be something I would like to do in the future. Mythical Entertainment was represented in the transaction by the Ring Group, Grey as Gurlard and Kelly Sobat. Leffy of Stubbs, Alderson, and Markels, Adam Keller, and Brian Pastoric of HJTH, and Matthew Gilbert Arnoff and Megan Palmer of Fulton Management. Padilla and Press alike were advised by David Severs and represented by Michael Lawhead and Ellie Hustler of Nixon P. Living. Hecox was repped by Scott Pervieri of Wine Twelve Children. As Hecox worked behind the scenes on Smosh Deal, they kept the news as private as they could. We shot the announcement in secret with Anthony Screw the week after Memorial Day, Hecox said. It's been an incredibly past couple of months keeping it secret. Well, I'm glad Smosh is back to how it used to be. Even though Smosh has changed over the years, but now by adding back then a new cat on-screen talent team that some comedian actors I've heard about entered into Smosh in 2015, which happened after So Random was silently cancelled by Disney Channel in 2012. So I can't wait to see the new sketches that are starting to take place on June 30th, and I'm so happy that Anthony is back. This year is going to be an exciting time.